Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about eat. <laughs> um, so you'll often hear in my classes to flex the foot. Now there's a couple of reasons we do that. Uh, you can use it in, for example, a warrior pose. Let's do warrior two. So external rotating the hips, pushing down through the front heel, knee stacked over the ankle, and I might say lift the toes and the front foot. Now why I do that is because there's these little muscles out the front of the shin, the um, fibularis anterior and tibularis. These muscles can help protect the knee. So when you're in one of those poses and I say lift the toes or in a bridge as well, I'll say lift the toes because it can help stabilize your knee. And why that's important in some of these poses such as bridge, so when you come up, you push through the heel and lift the toes. It can help stabilize the knees so not wobbling all over the place. Um, so that is why you'll hear flex the foot and when the foot's on the ground, which is a flex position, lift the toes. That's why, because you're engaging these muscles. Um, so this is dorsiflexion, pointing the foot, plantar flexion. We call it pointing and flexing usually in yoga. So pointing the foot, does something slightly different, which I'll talk about in the next video. But um, usually we do prefer to flex the foot, uh, which engages these muscles, can sometimes also help you engage your glute as well, depending on the pose that we're in. So often we're like in a, quickly, <laughs> when we're in a half moon, I'll say flex your foot, because it actually will help you engage your glute and lift from the heel, yeah? So there is some poses where It'll also help you engage your booty. <laughs> and next video, we'll talk about pointing.